G'day! Now we're going to do some more advanced things with the micro bit. We're going to play with the pins on the micro bit to control a fan. Here's our fan, and we're going to use the sensor bit. This is a nice little breakout board that has different sensor uh, connections you can put into it. On the back there, it's got the reading what they are, and on the front, uh, we can connect our little wiring up to all the different sensors and activities that we can do and of course our fan in this case. So what we're gonna do is learn how to turn the pins off and on on the sensor bit so that we can then program and do different activities. Um, in this case, we're just gonna do something simple, like when the button's pushed, we turn the fan on, and when the other button is pushed, uh, the fan will be turned off. So a very simple fan controller. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to our make code. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to set this up and program it so button A is on and button B is off. Um, and then I'll go through step by step afterwards and show you uh, what it is and why I've done it. and off. Okay, so you see a mistake I just did there, and it's an easy one to make um, due to the way this uh, breakout board works. It, yeah, it's the second time I've made that mistake. Okay, so on the breakout board, um, it starts at P1, and goes P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whereas on the micro bit itself, you've got P0, P1. They're the simple programming logics. We're now, we've gone to the advanced programming logic. So when we're playing around with the micro bit and learning, we're just using P0, P1, and P2. Um, and we're doing pin high and pin low for that. And we've got P0. However, when we're doing the more advanced side of things, now we're going starting at P1 and we're using the um, the, the digital pins, you might say, on the micro bit. And that, that throws me out. And it threw me out again, even though I tested this previously. Okay, so I'm going to delete the two code blocks and we'll go through and we'll start fresh. Okay, now, the first thing, we want to have two events. So when button A is pushed, we want it to do something. And when button B is pushed, we want it to do something. So we're going to go into the inputs. We're going to drag out our button A and go in inputs again and drag out our button B. Um, okay, so on second input, set that to B. So now we have our two events that can run our code. Now, as we're using the more advanced sensor bit activities, we now want to switch into like digital input and output. Now, you'll see a little um, arrow, uh, greater than, lower than uh, thing <laughs> at the bottom of there. That shows the advanced options within the make code. So we can scroll down here to the digital pins where we want to control these uh, directly. And there's lots of really fancy stuff we can do here, which we'll leave for another day as there's lots of other cool stuff we'll make with these micro bits. We're just going to go for the simple digital pin right. So we just want it to be either um, on or off for P, um, P1. Since we start, don't use P0, so P1 on the, the breakout board. Um, that's the, the memory thing I've got to keep storing in my head. And we're going to click on that. Okay, so on um, is one. So we're going to set that value to one. There's only two options, zero or one. Zero being off, one being on. Um, and the other one, again, make sure it's the same pin. And we're going to set that to zero. So we're going to tell the micro bit to write to its controller to set um, P1 to be high or three volts 
um, or P, and then we're going to write to the controller to set P1 to be zero, no volts. Okay, so we can test this in our simulator. Let me put that up, P1 and P0. Okay, and on the control itself, so it starts at P1, which keeps throwing me because I think it should start at P0. Um, and we've got the analog pins like that. We've plugged the fan into the first one there. Now the key point is that the fan has, I uh, see a red, black and green wire on that for the controller. On the pins, there's black, red and yellow. So we're gonna make sure that the black and the red line up. So that that's the, the power into, because this does have a, a couple of little circuitry things on it. So green is the control wire that tells the fan to turn off and on and red and black are the power to the fan. So there is a little chip on that to uh, control that and turn it off and on. It's not a direct power um, that way. Um, so we've got that. We're going to download our code. It's come out of our simulator. So the simulator is doing what we expect it. We want that um, pin to go high, uh, pump out three volts, and then we want to write it to be zero, pump out no volts. Um, we're going to save that to the micro bit. And then we're going to do it. So when we push the button A, uh, better hold my fan up so we can see it. Uh, button A, it's going to write to the pin. And now that's going to send three volts um, through the green wire to tell the fan circuitry that you need to now turn on. And then when I push the B, it's going to write zero, which turns the voltage to zero on the green wire and tells the fan to stop. Now obviously we can control lots and lots and lots of different things with this. Um, this is just one very simple circuit. So this is thanks to BitLink for putting this kit together and that allows us to um, do lots and lots of cool circuits. So that's the very first step in writing uh, to, on pin one, high and low. Cool, let's continue on in our fun.